small building blocks, great science, nanotechnology. Organic photovoltaics, exceptionally flexible and environmentally friendly. Energy storage, more power for supercapacitors. Thermoelectricity, how to generate power from differences in temperature. Organic solar cell can be produced uh, in a very cheap way, and, uh, but the high efficiency we need special nanostructures. The nanostructures should be uh, very stable in time during the lifetime of solar cell. And this is a challenge actually to combine stability, nanostructure, efficiency and eco-friendly uh, way of production. Project association it was possible to demonstrate that stability and eco-friendly character of manufacturing could be combined in one. We presented these uh, results uh, in the international community and it found very good resonance. Also for the very new, challenging and emerging technologies, so in the so-called uh, perovskite solar cell, it was possible to demonstrate that eco-friendly uh, manufacturing but also high efficiency could be combined in one. Using supercapacitors Electricity can be stored. Their capacitance, their charge and discharge rates, as well as their lifespan, are some of the most important properties. Nanotechnology can help to improve these characteristics in a decisive way. For example, we are able to identify aging processes in supercapacitors. This enables us to develop more durable components. Furthermore, we develop new materials which facilitate an increase in the capacitance. At the same time, these new materials enables us to reach higher charge and discharge rates for the capacitance. We use semiconductors to fabricate thermoelectric generators. These devices directly convert thermal energy into electrical energy. Modern nanotechnology is decisive to manufacture, process and characterize the materials used. It was our particular aim to only employ environmentally friendly materials and processes in our research. Good thermoelectric materials have a high electrical and a low thermal conductivity. We have developed methods to measure both with high precision and spatial resolution. And we were able to use these results to fabricate thermoelectric generators via modern printing technologies and to optimize them.